Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go from December 15th through the 21st. It's Elle here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for returning. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Uh, make sure you're commenting below, okay? L let me know how it resonates, if it resonates, so forth. Uh, so we have three cards for this week. We have how you come into the week, the advice, and the outcome, okay? So let's get into this. So how Aries comes into the week is the Four of Cups. The advice from Spirit is the Hanged Man, okay? And the outcome is the Eight of Swords. Clearly, this is a situation of Aries not understanding, not seeing, not being able to not being able to see that they're coming out of something, going to the next phase, the next chapter in their life. There's a temporary standstill in regards to things coming back full circle or back together. There might have been some upheaval in your life, but now things are going to um, calm down just a bit. You see something from a different perspective, okay? Uh... You see a person or situation from a different perspective. You see that all along you have not been thinking about you or placing more energy, effort, time into you. Uh, taking personal responsibility for who or what comes into your life. The energy that you bring in, sort of the law of attraction or something of, the, uh, of that sort. Um... I think now you get it and you're at a place, you're at a, uh, well, the cards are asking you to be at that place of making permanent changes, making changes in permanence. There is no turning back. There is the upheaval, the, the upset of your life to, to almost toss everything up and let it fall as it will because there are some things ending and there's new beginnings. Understand that things will go in your favor and luck is on your side, but you don't control how this happens. Everything, every person is playing a position in your life to get you to that end result that the divine has ordained for you. Now, how you get there, that is free will, choice. But you will get there. You will end up there. If not in this life, in the next. Until you understand what it is you need to learn about self. What it is you need to take self-responsibility, personal responsibility about. You are the sum of the people that you bring, or that you hold court with, that you that you call friends. Um, maybe even family. Um For a lot of you, this is just a situation of of coming to like personal enlightenment about the position you play in every situation in your life. Some of you are coming out of uh, being stuck, stagnant, tied to positions that weren't going to get you. Or situations that weren't going to get you a desired outcome, and but but though you have separated yourself from those three cups, you still once again can't see the forest for the trees. You can't see that something else is being offered. This cup sometimes is a cup of love, of agape love, of love for self, of love for others. Um, getting back to genuineness, for love for self first. Um, I think you come to some enlightenment or the cards are asking you to make some permanent changes. Some people don't need to be uh, around you. You don't need to be around them. Some people don't need to be in your life. They were there for that season. You understand it. And some people brought in, were brought into your life to, to awaken you to maybe some flaws that you have, you possess. The end of the week, you come to the Eight of Swords. Some cyclical negative thinking. Feeling bound, trapped, stuck to one position. But this is about you needing to 
reduce the energy to the seven of swords. You need to restructure, replan, write the vision, make it plain. What is it that you want to see in your life, in your relationship, in your marriage, in your business? How are you coming off to others? How do you interact with others? Are you sharing? Um, so this is a person not sharing, keeping all of that, that mental energy to themselves, um, being wrapped up in their thoughts. So that's how you end the week. Let's see what the shells have to say. Smart, making smart decisions, or you already have, and divorce, okay? You might be divorcing someone. If it is a marriage, you might be divorcing friendships, family. Something is not sitting right with you, some idea, some relationship, some situationship, whatever it may be, you're at a place of an complete enlightenment to to partake in this energy would bring you down or even lower if you are down, okay? Um, Aries, the advice here this week is to make permanent changes. Understand that these changes will get you onto a better path, get you onto um, enlightenment, clarity, a different perspective, okay? Get around like-minded people. All right, so Aries, have a really good week. You do know that spirit is on your side. These endings, the, this divorce of you fill in the blank is destined to happen. Just know that live in it, um, feel, allow yourself to feel, okay? All right, thank you, Aries. All links to get personal readings are below. The 20-minute phone readings are on sale. Once again, take advantage of those. Um, we have the 72-hour energy reading. All links are below. Um, the two coupon codes are below also. Thank you, Aries. Happy holidays. Take care, guys.